Welcome to episode 34. Are we going to get to the point that we're just going to forget? forget, Are we going to forget? Do you think Joe Rogan knows what episode he's on every time he starts? Because that pitch is on like episode 5 billion now. Yeah, certainly not. Absolutely not. Yeah. How are you doing, Zach? I I have like two things I want to – I have a bunch of stuff to tell you actually. But um, I I wanted to comment on your appearance again because that's always fun for me. Even though I'm going to compliment you. Again, honestly, uh, but we were having a little pre-show conversation. Uh, what? This is live right now. Oh, yeah. the live hell? You're missing two. out. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, here's my here's my I, I've decided. Bros made an executive decision. And, and I'm going on already going on a tangent. But I've decided that we're going to keep doing live episodes until I finish the Elden Ring video. You know what? That's fair. That's very fair. Send it. How far? OK. Oh, oh my God. I got I, 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 the list of things to mention keeps piling up, but how far along are you in the Elden Ring video? I haven't. The thing is, it's more <laughs> if of you a, say you haven't even touched it this whole I have, time. I have touched it. it, it it's a okay. lot of like, it's not like editing, editing. It's like music finding. Like, oh, like I know how that is. Making Dude, all that, all that shit. So like, I'm, I, I, I'm a professional video editor. Like I do it for work for people that don't know. And, um, I don't know because like they, my employer like knows, but if they like truly saw the amount of time I spent like looking for a song or a sound yeah. effect, like we would be talking about it more. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, like they mm-hmm. know what I'm up to. Like, it's not like a hidden thing, but like if they saw the number, they'd be like, how do we like not <laughs> like spend yeah. that much time yeah. and the thing looking is, is for it, a song? You have in your head a perfect song, but you're like, right. I don't know how to make that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought, I, that's all I was yeah, doing on uh, Monday, yesterday. So um, quick little plug. There's a oh, oh I, I, I put this in our discord chat. There was this guy on YouTube. His name's Frederick Nunson. He does this. These like video essays on YouTube, which, you know, I'm a white boy. I'm a sucker for. Uh, he spent the last two years editing this six hour long video essay about Eve Online, and it is the greatest thing on YouTube, even if you're not interested in video games or Eve Online, like, just give it, it's a big ask to tell someone to watch six hours of a YouTube video. I don't know, is it bad if I tell people to, like, click on and then click off for the view? Does that, like, fuck up his watch time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Either give it, way. Like, a 20-minute watch at the, min- at the minimum. Just leave it on the background. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's really, 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 like, he literally spent two years editing this video i know you have too but like this guy's <laughs> life smaller video guy, yeah. yeah people people have been paying him monthly over the past two years to make this video right mm-hmm. um why am i even talking about this you said something that made me want to go down this road and i forget Elden ring yeah something like that but it wasn't quite i don't know you, you said some remark that was going to make me like tie that back into what you were saying. And I, if I'm being honest with you, I completely lost my train of thought, but it's a good video. You should check it out. That's something okay. that's, that's something else. Yeah. Watch Frederick Nutton's video and then watch my video. If it's out by the time <clears throat> you're watching this, do you think it could be out by the time people are watching this? Uh, if they watch it in like a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a very good point. Okay. Um, we were having a, a pre-show conversation a little bit for the first two seconds about like botting views. Have you ever considered botting views? Have you ever, I'm not saying um, have you. I mean, you could tell me if you have. But as like, a kid, maybe like followers <laughs> on like Twitter or something like that. Just to get, you know, some, you know, not even like a personal Twitter, like a gimmick yeah. Twitter. But not really. Why? Have you? <laughs> well, I was going to say, well, I mean, I've, I've like over the course of my life, like I've not, I've not done it. I have never once in my life botted the views, but um, I, I've been curious cause I've looked up like the pricing on them sometimes. And it's like the levels are like start at like a thousand subscribers, right? Like that's like the minimum, like, mm. you know, it'll be like 20 bucks for like 10,000 subscribers or like 20 bucks for like a hundred thousand views. And it's like, that seems like incredibly unrealistic for like a new, that price is right, depreciated, like, though, because that used it used to be a lot of money for only a few followers when I was doing. Maybe I just didn't know where to look. I guess, but sure. But I guarantee you, if we looked up like bot YouTube views or subscribers, like the the lowest tier you can find is like so high. I feel like it would set off YouTube's like alarms. Oh, immediately. 
You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like if you're a new channel or you don't get a lot of views and then all of a sudden, like a bunch of Chinese, like 10, like a hundred thousand Chinese people start watching your stuff. Yeah. It's like, someone, someone why can't tested- I pay you? I'd pay you 20 bucks for like a hundred, subs- you know, if like, for like 20 subscribers. You know what I mean? Like I'd pay you a dollar per subscriber. Yeah. Like honestly, that, that would probably be a good level of like, yeah. A little bit more credibility, but like not fucking us up completely. I don't know. I, um, what were they gonna say? Oh, uh, someone tested a a like bot on one of my tweets. Oh yeah, I How'd posted a tweet that was not that funny or interesting, <laughs> and I got two hundred likes on it. And I was like, ah, oh, someone's fucking around. Someone's having fun. I'm like, oh, for it, you know, send it, but. Someone's fucking around for sure. I'm sure the impressions always, on that. I don't know, like I don't know how impressions work with bots. Like I don't know if they each count for their own impression or engage in any sort of. I mean, obviously engagement, but I feel like I would pay for an influencer to retweet something, right? Like I would never pay to like bot views, but like you know, if there was like a popular Twitter account that I could pay to like retweet something, I guess that just devalues that person's posts. At the same time, too. But you know what I mean? Like, that's an interesting alternative. Dude, give he, Elon a few hundred bucks and he'll have him retweet. A regurgitated. Just pay for it as an ad. Did you see the guy that um, posted burger recipe on Twitter as an ad? No. I replied to him. He's in my Twitter replies. Really? Actually, it was funny. So, so um, oh, I did see that. I did see you reply to that. Yeah. And I was confused. So there's a, there's a guy. <laughs> why, why were you confused? I had no um, idea what was going on. There's this guy, Gabriel Plaguez, and uh, he's kind of like little, you know how sometimes something gets viral, like within a niche, right? Like Mm -hmm. it's not viral, viral, but like for some reason, like a couple million people on Twitter are in on this joke and then no one in real life you would ever know. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Care. It's Mm -hmm. like one of those things. He, he paid for, he put out a tweet and he paid for an ad. It says 74 grams of protein, 770 calories. The average man would have a six pack if they ate this two to three times a day. Crazy. And I'll DM you the recipe for free. Just reply burger in quotes or retweet this tweet must be following to receive recipe and in a response is like this picture of these burgers and so um i i replied burger and he dm'd me actually oh yeah he dm'd me he said uh hey zach thanks for the follow did you follow because you're looking for health and fitness advice no (laughs) i followed because because of burger um then, well, then, yes, then he, kind of, actually. Yeah, then he sends me the recipe. This is a wild-ass recipe. Okay, keep in mind, this guy says if you eat this two to three times per week, I, you would get a six-pack. Oh, right. The burger recipe is 10 ounces of 93 to 7 ground beef. That's a bad beef-to-fat right. combo, yeah. by the way. Yeah. But it's yeah. lean. I'll, I'll cut him some slack on that. He says sugar-free ketchup. Okay. He says normal mustard, normal burger buns. Any veggies you want and four slices of reduced fat cheddar. It's just, it's just a burger. burger. It's just like a fucking (laughs) burger. And then he says, and then I have yet to reply to any of this, right? He then replies to me again. He says, Hey Zach, here's the recipe. I'm looking for a few men interested in losing 10 to 30 pounds of fat by Christmas. Interested? If not, then it's all good. No need to respond. But if you're at all curious, we can see if you're a good fit. It's like who the who the fuck is this guy on? That you is know? a bot, right? Or is that do you think no? That's it's a real guy messaging you. No, he's a real. He's a. I mean, I'm sure he's botted this to an extent, but like, it is the funniest thing that like everyone everyone just is getting this guy's burger recipe, and it's the most basic ass cheeseburger I just, you could possibly imagine. Should I just eat two of those a week and see if I get a six pack? That would be interesting viral content if I had time and money and resources for it right now. Is we could both eat uh, those that burger two resources, to three though. times just a day. Eat, just eat that burger two times. Well, like, I'm trying to. I'm like leaving out of town within a week. That is true. And I'm like, I got a lot of shit to like take care of here. How many, like, how honestly, many weeks? Me, how many weeks does, does he say it'll take to get six pack from burger? <laughs> Let's see. I forget. Um. Shit, I, I lost the original tweet. Because one of them is like in my likes, 
or one of them is in my replies and the other one's in my DMs. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't specify like a time period. He just says you, you will eventually have a six pack if you keep eating it two to three times a day. He doesn't say okay. how long. So if we, it could be one week and we just get six pack. <laughs> could be one month. We could just get six pack. Could be 10 years. And we get six pack, but it, is it's there like a it. bell curve maybe where like you start getting fatter and then we have to wait to eventually start getting thinner. Oh. Like is that, well, I'm just saying it's like, should I game. stop if I start getting fatter before? You should ask him. Ask him, should ask him about the bell curve. Should I ask him to be on the podcast? Yeah, it'd be like, can you tell me tell me your burger recipe on this podcast? That would be a, that would be honestly kind of a niche. That that'd be a great get for the show. He's a Chris, he's guy? a Christian entrepreneur. He says, uh, "I help Christian entrepreneurs lose ten to thirty pounds." <laughs> this is this is bio. So like you, like you. He's, he wants to help yeah. you lose ten to no, thirty I, pounds. I'm, I'm the anti him. Oh, okay. I'm an atheist. Uh, I help atheist entrepreneurs gain 30 pounds. <laughs> Funny uh, enough, our recipes are exactly the same. I want a burger now. Burger. Burger. I got a, I got some zesty burger in the freezer. I got 40 of them for $40. Dollar per, per patty. Now I want the, burger. The, thing, the thing I will say about this guy, though, I you know I think people could learn from him marketing wise though he did something that stood out number one number two he delivered on his promise and he over delivered he he under promised and over delivered I feel like a lot of people when they run ads on stuff right they like immediately try to get you with some like other shit he he immediately hit me up and he's like thank you for reaching out and following and he sent me the recipe. I didn't say a word to him. He sent me the recipe off the rip, right? And then he followed it up with how can I offer? He tried to upsell me from there, sure. He tried to offer in some extra services. But like he put out an ad and he said, this is an, an amazing burger burger recipe. <clears throat> I did something for free and he gave it to me. I got a free what, burger recipe. What did he? What does he sell though? Oh, I'm sure he's trying to be like a consultant or like a, not a personal trainer, but like, you know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I'm sure he wants to do like online like health consultations with people. Yeah, 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 yeah. kind of like a life coach, coachy type thing. Mm-hmm. I bet that's his angle. Yeah. Well, he I wants mean, to help me learn thirty pounds. <laughs> he wants to help know. me learn thirty pounds by Christmas. Yep. yep. So, yeah. you, what you should do is you should do a sixty day program with this man and see how much you learn. <laughs> I should I reply back and I say, well, I don't have much time right now, but I'll say starting in January. I would like to engage in your program in exchange for you being on the, on my podcast. Every other week, you got to show up for two hours and talk us through Christian entrepreneurship. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like every kind of like update you give me has to be like on a live oh, on a public recorded. forum. Yeah. 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 That'd be good. That would be really good. I had, I had speaking of speaking of food that uh, makes you fat or skinny. I had uh, a liter and a half of chocolate milk and I feel like I'm going to have diarrhea. What is the time frame you had this liter and a half of chocolate milk in? I got it at 6.30 and I finished it by 9.30. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about, talking about time. I was thinking maybe you'd say like three days. He said 6.30. He didn't start <laughs> talking about it. Today. I said, what's the uh, time hours. frame? Yeah, about yeah. three hours. I said, what's the time frame you drank that chocolate milk in? He started giving me, giving me like a clock time. I'm like, yep, yep. he's screwed. Yep. For three hours. I feel like I, if you just hit me in the stomach the wrong way, I'm just going to fucking pop like a balloon in my asshole. He said, uh, I um, I work with a bunch of real estate people for work, right? And this guy was in our office and he was telling me about this real estate opportunity uh, for people. And I was like, oh, what would be like my entry like fee for that? Like how much money would it cost me to like get into like this deal you're talking about? He goes, mm, like one point. And I was like, stop. I was like, yep, bro said, yeah, I'm done. Bro said point. I was yep. like, I don't even want to hear the next thing uh, you have to say. Uh, uh, You're uh, pitching me out of, I don't, how much money do you think I'm getting paid here? He uh, said point. He said about one point, nothing good's going to come after that. No, I know. Nothing how, how good's going to come after point. As, as I, as I've moved down, I'm kind of like on my own out in Ohio. I've realized like, how do people be making money? How do people do it? 
Like, I, don't, I feel it, like I make good money, but I, but the money I see people making is more money than what I think is good money. So how do people be making money? You know, it's weird. I think we both make around the same amount of money, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. My whole life has been me going, how the fuck do I make more money? I'm going to die like broken homeless. Like yeah. everyone I see around me is like way more successful. Not everyone. Like half the people in my life are way more successful than me. And the other half of the people, I don't know how they uh, are, 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 can even afford to live because I'm yeah. making way more than them. And somehow, you know what I mean? Like somehow oh, living yeah. like this. Yeah. Um, but every year or every other year in my life, I always end up making a little bit more money and a little bit more money and a little bit more money and a little bit more money. And things progressively keep, getting there. But then like, you know, I get into this job where again, yet again, I find myself making the most money I've made plus some pretty other sick benefits and stuff in a job I really like. And then I look around me and there's people much younger than me around me that make way more than me, like way more than me. Like I'm not even like some of them. Yes. A little more than me. Some of them make like, I mean, they're already like millionaires and shit and they're like, mm -hmm. and they're mm -hmm. like younger than me. And so like, you know, then I look around and I go, well, I'm not good enough, clearly. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Because I'm like, you know, I go through my every day to day life and I feel like I'm a very wealthy, not a very wealthy, but I feel like I'm a pretty well off person. And then I'll show up to work and I'm like, wow, you people just don't understand. You know what I mean? I'm like, you yeah. like, so I, I feel like I'm living in fucking poverty when I <laughs> you know, hear some no, of you people talk. I, I, I totally, I totally get that. I, I, I just, <laughs> how my current money situation is set up is like I get paid a lot of the, a lot of that money goes towards just house, you know, uh, burger, rent, burger, uh, 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 gas, electric, water, sewer, whatever, car insurance, or not, not car. Well, I guess car insurance. Brucey gives car. Him, he, Bruce, he throws money in the sewer. <laughs> I'd be trucking money in the sewer and I don't even know how to do it. I, I throw, I threw all the, I do that and that's most of my money. And then I'm like, Oh, I have enough money for, uh, for groceries. And I get like 200 bucks worth of groceries. And then I'm like, where that, where did all my money go? I don't know. I don't know how people do it. I don't know how people, I don't know how people do it. I, I, I feel like I, I make pretty good money. So I have no idea. I know um, people uh, throughout my life and some people I know currently that work a full-time job. Plus they do side work. Plus they go to school full time and some of them like have families. Like I know multiple people in my life that like have a wife and kids and work a full time job and go to school. I'm like, how, how do you have time for that? They truly inspire me. Like I'm not even being facetious here. Like I, I look at those people and I go like, how do I get on your level? It, it's looking at those people that make me realize that like <clears throat> I could be doing more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I look, I look around at that money situation and feel everything that I just described to you. And I'm like, how, but how are you people doing this? And then I'll also look at someone living their life like that. And I'm like, clearly there could be, my time could be spent doing more of that too. You know what I mean? I have, I, I personally have a really good, I have a great work ethic when it comes to working, but then I'm like, I need some sort of, some people don't, but I need some sort of like, out, like I can't be working, you know, until like until five minutes before I go to sleep, and then wake up and then start working again. People, I know, I know people at my job that live like that and are fine with that, but I can't. I, I, I need, I need my, I need me time. I need boy time. I'm autistic, bro. I need me time. I need time I'm to autistic play four in the sense that, like, once. I get on fixations, and I think you probably know that very well about me at this point. If I want to do something, there is nothing on the planet that will stop me from doing it and being excited about it. And it kind of will be all I'll talk about. And it doesn't matter what you think about it. it it's going to get done. But if my brain's not on it, I kind of just don't give a shit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I would like to, but I just don't, you know, mm -hmm. no, my, I, my I, brain is in those off and on modes. If I feel motivated and I like an idea and I feel inspired in some kind of way, then yeah, the, the world, the world's mine. Like, fuck you. You, you can't, I genuinely believe this is a Kanye West moment I'm about to have. I genuinely believe that like within me is like the most talented, unrelenting, like badasses of a human that have ever walked the fucking face of the earth. 
I just think that I'm lazy and retarded. <laughs> I yeah, just, I mean, that's, like, that's exactly that's I kind just, of, yeah, yeah. I just, you know what I mean? I mean, because you, I mean, seriously, though, like, you've seen it before, right? Where, like, you just can't get me to shut the fuck up and stop something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then 100%. you've also seen me, like, now where, like, you can't get me to do anything. Yeah. You I mean, know, like, that, both that, of those that, moods exist. But that's a good balance, you know? And I, I was, and I was pushing <laughs> you. Unhealthy. Toward, when, when was it? I was pushing you. Like pseudo recently, I was like, "Hey, you should take a, you should chill. Like you should, you're doing like a lot of shit. You're doing a lot of shit, and now you're at the point where you're like, I'm just gonna take a break. <laughs> you're like, I'm good. Yeah, which is what you, you need. That you you definitely need that. I think it's important. I do need that, but like, I don't know, because the thing is, like, I'm I'm very much also, I'm a momentum based person. You know what I mean? Like when momentum's swinging in my way, like it only the ship only moves faster, right? And yeah. so I kind of yeah, yeah. knew deep down within me that if I stopped making like shorts, I was going to stop making shorts. Yeah. It was going to take a while for you to get back what, into it. That's kind of what happened. Yeah. Now I got to get back into it. But again, once I, I guarantee you once that momentum starts swinging, like it'll be bad. Yeah. I am. I don't want to bite off too much more than I can chew again. So I'll, I'll have to like think about how I want to structure this, but I'm like pretty set in my mind on like 2024 like writing out some goals. I want to like every single week, at least make a couple shorts, just a couple. I'm not saying it's going to be three times a fucking day again, but you know what I mean? Like at least once a week, sit down and make a few. Um, I want to travel more. I want to like be, I want, I want when we do this type of stuff, I, I know we have some ideas that are going to get a little more creative and I want to like feel fulfilled in like being creative. And I would mm. like to try to see if I could take on some side work again too. That kind of ties into what we were talking about earlier, but I think like kind of my dream situation next year is like, I'm still in my current job, like slowly inching my way towards something. If it happens, great. If it doesn't happen, whatever. But then outside of that, it's like, I have a day or like regurgitated and I have a day to like maybe have another client or something where I can make some side money in my money's not quite tied to my job and then the rest of my week can just be like my girlfriend the gym a walk a movie like that's that's kind of what i'm picturing in my mind and that i want to travel Uh, i need to save a lot more money next year but i'm hoping i can kind of find some ways to travel on that note i have a surprise for you benjamin what's that i'm pregnant (laughs) and i i think it might be your baby Oh shit! Okay, so Wait, we... if you want to bring Alexis on here, we can have a uh, "Who's the Father" moment. Yeah, yeah, We're gonna yeah. Dig yeah. Maury up from his grave. What if I just brought it? It was just I, I was I just called someone. It was just a different girl that walked in. <laughs> <laughs> you had another girl's number on speed dial. Uh, um. Anyways, so I'm gonna. Uh, where's our chat, Benjamin? Hold yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Ba-doom, ba-doom. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, scroll by, scroll by the uh, the weird phallic fruit. No, my phone just... Uh... Zach, I will tell you. Uh, I got rid of the mullet. Well, I didn't. I didn't get rid of the mullet. I liked the mullet. How'd you get rid of the but mullet? Alexis was cutting my hair, and I, I guess she went a little bit too deep on one of the sides, and it looked fucked the mullet from behind. She so did it I- intentionally. Maybe she gave it to me originally and she said she liked it and then, and then she removed it. So my guess or what I, what we're going to do going forward, I guess is uh, I'm going to uh, start from square one and I'm going to grow my hair out with the intention of being it being a mullet. And what did you send me? Did you send me something weird. Okay. Is that like a, it's happening thing. Yeah, I mean I bought it. I mean hey. I, I I I will say though, I put in it's not like a hundred percent confirmed. I, I paid the money for it, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like I'm good for it. Like I'm trying. Uh I've not I put in a request for time off work too. I've not been approved for it yet. Um so like pending that, right? Um I'll fly out on the last weekend of January to Cleveland, Ohio. My birthday weekend, shel- bro. Are you you will celebrate your birthday? You are are you sheltering me or do I need to pay for a room somewhere? Imagine I have dude, I have I know. I'll, I'll get I know. Into, I'll get into this. I have this bed. Nobody's <laughs> other, but my younger brother has slept in this bed, and I'll explain that in a minute. But nobody but my younger brother has slept in this bed. So yeah, you are free to 
sleep your ass. I don't know. Am I going to catch whatever like fucking curse your family has? <laughs> if I yeah. s- sleep on that bed, you better sanitize those fucking sheets, my guy. Because if might. my yeah. bones start your, falling your, off after your, I sleep on that bed, will, your eyes will start going like out a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. Can see it. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I, I know, I know that you're not too keen on this time frame, right? On this like quick turnaround thing. Mm-hmm. You seem to think it was a lot. I'm telling you, I would prefer it this way. No offense, I'm not going to spend a week's worth of time on on my first trip out there and everything. Mm-hmm. You know, like let me just fly in, make a bunch of content, have a good time, fly back out. Hopefully, you're down for these times. Yeah, you're gonna be at the airport at two. 45 on Saturday and seven or in what are you able to get me to the airport on one thirty five on Monday? Yeah. That should be okay. Problem. I'm on so. I'm salary bitch. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> they say, they say, take your time. But we got to come up with some creative ideas. Cause I spent real, real hard earned cash on this this morning. Okay. I know. And I'm about to drop. I, I, I'm kind of nervous about my money situation. Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of at the point of not stop giving a fuck about, some of the stuff I say on here, but, um, okay. uh, I've, I, I'll just say this. I've earned some extra money that is being withheld from me. I know I will get it, but it's not getting, I'm not going to get it for another like couple weeks. Um, so I know there's extra money coming in, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to DC, t- uh, at the end of the week. And I immediately, when I get there, essentially need to pay a thousand dollars like for the rental car and for the first hotel for a while. Like they, right, no, like they don't, for some that. reason they didn't charge me like over yeah. the um, computer. Like the other half of the trip did, I paid for it in advance. The first half of the trip, they're like, it's like a fancy place and they didn't take my payment over the internet. I, I, get, to pay that. In person. I get that. That's, so, that's super anxiety inducing, <laughs> at least for me as well. I, I've no, also, it is for me too. Yeah. Be- because like, and, and I have to essentially, I get paid and then that entire paycheck is definitely being spent because it's like $300 round trip for that Cleveland flight that I just paid. Plus it's going to be an extra like thousand dollars for the rental car and the first hotel stay. Um, And that's not even including like going out to eat and drinks and gas, right? Like, Like it's not including any of those things. So like that's this paid this week's paycheck I'm about to get paid Bye. Just wiped, just yeah. wiped immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I have more money than that, obviously, but like it freaks me out to oh, not. I have, I have such bad money spending guilt. It's actually horrendous. I mean, I've told you about this. It's before. not even it's like horrible. a guilt thing. It's more of just like I want it out of my account. Do you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like I want, I want it to see be it. Yeah, gone. I want the math I want it, to be I, done for me. Right, like because especially because I have like bills and shit that just like hit me, and I just don't. I don't want to fucking. I want it to go away. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I don't. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah. Um, no, I'm with I, you there. I totally get it. I, I am hoping to get some more traveling done next year. I obviously want to take my girlfriend on a on another decent trip, and I want to like get the boys. To, I think Ethan was talking about getting the boys together for like a Mexico or Dominican Republic thing I'll next year. I'll be there. If I'll that, be there. that would be cr- I don't, crazy. I'm addition. sure you would be welcome. <laughs> I, I I don't know how by who i'm sure by some people um but uh what was i gonna say um i de- definitely am going to um cleveland i talked about maybe flying you out to virginia for a thing but we'll see that's a mate it's a we'll see type mm-hmm. of situation mm-hmm. if the boys thing falls through then i want to take go somewhere with another friend well mm-hmm. the point is i want to travel a bunch um i want to look into getting like a travel credit card too i want tsa pre-check I want to go to a lounge. I don't even I've never have been to a lounge before. I don't have a passport. I don't have a real I, real ID, whatever the fuck those you are You live called. close enough to Canada. You probably should go get a passport now so you can take a quick trip well, up. Dude, Niagara Falls is not even four hours away. You should do it. You should get a passport and go to Niagara I Falls. That'd be I don't cute. even have an Ohio ID yet. I need to get an Ohio ID first. <laughs> what is it? Just a fucking goofy goober uh, ID no, that dude, SpongeBob got? And the how, how horrendous it's gotten since the last time. general. Dog. It's gonna. It's gotten actually so bad these la- this last two weeks. Not a, yeah, a little bit more than two weeks. Um, you but you right off the top, you wanted to tell me something. You wanted to make a fun of my eyebrow slit. I think right. No, I was just saying you look. I was gonna ask you 
if you are being serious about getting ripped, like you said, because you do look thinner. I lost weight. Yeah. Is it is it a good? I'm not much. I've gained weight, but not much weight. Look how fast I can do that. Holy shit. <laughs> that was so fast. Wow. That was so fast and cool. Um <laughs> <laughs> I uh, yeah, I lost a little bit of weight. I don't know how or why. Um, I cut my hair again. I I I, I guess it's kind of like a Dominican. I guess that's what the, the style is. It's like a Dominican cut. So am, am I culturally appropriate? Who told you that? A uh, Hispanic person. So take their advice Where? or take what, their, what Hispanic person? Where did you room. find them? It was Alexis. She Hispanic? <laughs> yes. I thought she was Italian. <laughs> Both. She's Puerto Rican Italian. So I'll take that. You got, you, you got, I don't even know if I can say it, man. Um, <laughs> you probably can't, not, probably not live. <laughs> um, um, you picked yeah, the guess, sassiest girlfriend. You can, you can tell possibly. me about it, dude. Um, no, I, it, lit, actually, though. That's the most polite way I could have put it. No, it, I was about to it, call her she, a racial slur. <laughs> she's also, <laughs> that was a joke. She, She's she's also from uh, New York, so add, just add one layer to Does that. Does she talk like Ice Spice? No, but she says water. You thought I was feeling you. You know, wait, you've talked to her. Why do I? Why am I acting I like know. you haven't talked to her? <laughs> I know um, I have. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I got, but I got my, I got my moat ripped off, which I was really unhappy about. But this happened last night or the night before. Um, she's shaping my beard a little bit. Um, you look good. I've said this before. I wish my beard grew in as thick as yours, dude. I it was actually a weird moment. I walked. I was, I was in. Was it a Trader Joe's? Because I don't go out much, right? I, I'm kind of home. I work from home. I'm like you We're know, going we to get, haunted house. We are going to haunted house. But I walked. I'm gonna film a haunted Trader house Joe's. vlog. I will kill myself. I'm so ter I'm so superstitious and like autistic about like I get so immersed in the idea of like ghosts and shit that I get all fucked up. <laughs> we'll go um, during the day. <laughs> we won't go like <laughs> at midnight. No, um I walked but I walked I was walking into Tr- Trader Joe's and I was like I saw a guy with a, the exact same setup as you. Dark, you know, darker um little mustache, little chin thing, little this thing. But he had, he had a hat on. He was taller. And he was a little bit not fatter, but like wider. If that makes sense. And I was like, "It's me." And I was freaked the fuck out. I was like, "I was like, he would tell me if he was in Cleveland." But I was, it was in the glasses too. It was so. It was a moment. You should have asked both, for a picture. We looked at each other in the eyes for like a, like a long time. Like we looked longingly into each other, into each other's eyes, and I was like, "This has to be Zach. He's looking right in the right in the eyes." It wasn't you, fun fact. Unless it was. <laughs> Did you kiss him? Not yet. <laughs> you should and, have took uh, a picture with him. Have you ever done that before? Like showed someone, like stopped someone in public and been like, "You look just like someone I know." I don't. I have s- severe social anxiety. So no. Yeah, but don't so, you also so, say that. that you like just don't give a shit in public? No, it's that I don't give a shit on camera. <laughs> I turn it off. I turn off the social anxiety on camera. Uh, Is that weird? It's I crazy. That's probably, probably weird. Mm, I wouldn't say it's weird. I just think you know. I, I can. I can turn on like a persona. You need to of, get over yourself. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But it, there, this is like I can turn off. I can turn on like a persona, like a like a like a mask, like dream. <laughs> You, is he you, really you, a, a pedophile or something? Mm. Was that real? I, I liked when the gumball guy called him the F slur. To funny. be fair, if I... <laughs> <Go ahead. laughs> Nothing. No, we're cutting that. We're cutting that. Yeah, no, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, like, can you blame him? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you blame gumball or dream? Hmm? Yeah. Okay, so I I agree with Gumball. Um, Hashtag free my free free Gumball <laughs> free, free, free Gumby Gumball. free Gumby. Uh, no, but shit went haywire that literally the starting the day after the podcast. Oh, so well, I with moved dream. in. No, oh. with dream. <laughs> 
I thought you were getting into dream drama. I'm not going to get into man. dream drama. No, I'm, I'm good with that. No, I moved in on the, thir- on the 13th of October. The last podcast was on the 12th of November. So the next day was when my rent was due. When all, and and that, that's how what I set up all of like my... rapping like rent's due? Rap, dude, r- I was fucking rapping up this fist and about to punch a bunch of people because... About to crunch a bunch of bunch of munch? I was about to crunch a bunch of bunch of munch. My yeah, bank you account got it. closed. For no reason, my bank account <laughs> closed. I, 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 the day was that it tied my, to your previous address, maybe? No. Mm. The day all of my mm. stuff was due, my bank account closed. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, I still don't know why. And it's been. Is it uh, back over, open? It's been two weeks. No, it's closed. I made so it. How, I, I how got, are you I alive? Got here, I got here. I made an account. I started, I hooked everything to that account. And then they closed it within three weeks. So I'm, I'm still, I still have my Connecticut account. You have a lawsuit on your hands, dude. I, I was so fucked. And the day that everything <laughs> maybe was maybe there's good. another Ben Paquette, an evil Ben Paquette. I, there's an evil Ben Paquette, and he said, "I'll close it." I, but I, yeah, so he'll I, eat I, your I, pussy. I, I called this place, and they were like, because I couldn't log into my the web portal, or the online banking. And I'm like, hey, hey you know, uh, I can't log into thing i need like some sort of verification or something i can give you anything you want are you sure you're not no. getting like your shit stolen i don't know but they were like they were like uh yeah the, the we have decided to uh end our relationship with you maybe they saw the podcast and i'm like yeah i was like what the fuck my okay so here's my thought i have a what few bank guys is with, this citizens citizens bank never heard of it mm, i mean it's definitely a smaller bank it's it's reputable it's a reputable bank. I had a bad experience with it, though. Um, I have, but I have a few theories as to why it closed. I had enough money in it. I had more than enough money in it. Um, the problem, I think, was that I I, I tied two bank uh, two incomes to a, a, an account that wasn't a joint account. I attached me and Alexis's income. To an account that I call, I nicknamed joint, but it wasn't actually a joint account. Yeah, so I think that's why they closed it. Is my guess. What are you looking into? You look you look so shocked. I'm reading about people with Citizens Bank having the same issue. Really, their account being closed? Yeah, from a, a Reddit thread from seven years ago from the oh. same issue. Yeah, I uh, it sucked. It sucked big time. I had to kind of scramble to get all my money in order. A few bills were late. Uh, not a big, not a huge deal. Um, this is a newer account, you said. I made it three weeks ago, or now it's probably four <clears throat> or five. Weeks this guy ago. said, on, uh, "I mean, there's an original Reddit post, and this guy <laughs> replied, honestly, you must be me.' This exact." <laughs> This exact thing happened to me last week. I had no money in the account for about three to four weeks. And when I go to put money, they said the account was closed and I owed them uh, money because my car ins probably insurance, pulled money from it twice, but I paid with another card. Said I owed them was 400. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know. I want to say there's something here about also having like a direct deposit thing, but I, I'm not seeing it anymore, so I must have missed it. Horrifying, though, to uh, have all of your stuff linked to an account, have auto pay set up for everything, and then it closes the day everything is due. Horrible. So, such a spiking <laughs> anxiety and anger that day. It was actually horrendous, bro. And the, and the and the lady on the on the phone didn't give a fuck. She did not give a shit. She was at, talking so matter of factly. It was so goddamn annoying. It was a horrible day. Oh yeah, this guy from two months ago, Citizens Bank. He opened up a new account, had his direct deposit and everything hooked up. He has an eight hundred plus credit score, and uh, they said that he was they restricted his account and would send him a letter by mail 
explaining the situation. And then down below the top comment says, it's not uncommon. The bank can end the relationship for any reasons at any time without giving a reason. Bank flagged something as a risk and chose to protect themselves by ending the relationship. Customer service isn't allowed to say to avoid liability. Could be something with your check systems report. That's like a credit report for deposit accounts. Uh, hmm. Yeah, they're telling people to go check their check system reports. I don't even know what that means. Here, I'll just send you this Reddit thread. Yeah, send it over. Like, <clears throat> unironically, just as a friend, just letting you know that like other people are apparently having similar issues, I guess, yeah. and they're giving reasons as to why. But yeah, that's no fun. No so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I've, down the line, I'm gonna <laughs> switch. I'm gonna try and get a Chase account, and I hope that doesn't happen. I hope that doesn't happen again because that was really, really annoying. Um, but I, I everything is fine. Um. The reason they I make got more money off of having dumbasses mismanage their account, I w- I would think so. But yeah, isn't that like how banks in credit cards make their money? Quite literally, yes. Like yes. they offer good, like credit cards, especially. I know that's not what you're having, but like credit cards will be like, you know, uh, here's like insane benefits to our users because they know like twenty percent of them are going to fuck up and end up yeah. paying like twenty five percent interest for five yeah. years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I I. I <laughs> The the only reason that I got it was because the only way that my landlord likes his money is through Zelle. So I was like, okay, you know, I can, and I'm my, my the Connecticut bank doesn't have Zelle, but citizens does. So that's why I got citizens and they fucked me immediately. So fuck that. Um, but that happened the day after, uh, uh, our podcast, the, the podcast. Um, and then a bunch of like stupid money problems came up. Like my insurance came up. My car insurance was just so happened to be um, ending or whatever. Um, I pay yearly. Mm-hmm. And they're like, hey, you owe us, you know, $1,300 or whatever. Uh, and by the 26th, that you're, you're not going to have insurance. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to be here for one month. Can I pay like a 12th of that? And they're like, you can pay a 10th of that. But it was like a whole thing. With like a, a, a late fee and all that shit, it was so annoying. Just a bunch of money problems, and I, I mean that—that's it's always front, you know, front loaded with all this kind of stuff. Like when you move states, I, I, I get that. Um, but then I had the privilege of having my family here for Thanksgiving last week. Oh, nice, nice. And that was all chocolate milk. And um, that was today. That was today. And, uh, we, yeah, we had Thanksgiving here. Alexis did most of the cooking, um, because she doesn't like my cooking, uh, <laughs> because yeah, put, bad, up, the, put up the pictures of your, I know you don't want to edit much, but put up the, just honestly, just screen grab the last time you talked about the Ben's food chat or whatever yeah. and put it back oh, up. Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, you, you, you get it. Um, <clears throat> but she did a great job cooking. Um, my, some of my family. My sister and my brother, older brother, came through. And the night before, and, and uh, my older brother helped, like, build, like, a table that I needed to build that night. And then my sister helped make a a uh, um, a cheesecake. Uh, it's a family recipe. Cheesecake. Half cheese, half cake? Half cheese, half cake. I didn't know it goes into cheesecake until that day. And I'm like, that's fucking gross. That's I don't yucky. like cream cheese. I, 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 I like it. I love, I love cheesecake and i love cream cheese but i'm like sour cream is fucking yucky i don't That's like sour cream here. either um i don't like most white sauces mayo don't like it oreo if it's melted oh, that's a dessert that's fine whipped uh, whipped topping what is it whipped cream yeah yeah it's also a dessert that's fine it's also um, not a sauce. I got ranch none. is a big one. Ranch is the big one I don't like. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know you don't like ranch. Ranch has some little speckles in it too, like little stinky speckles in it too. Probably the peppercorn. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. So I had my family over for cancel uh, flight. <laughs> <Thanksgiving>. <laughs> Redirect for Las Vegas. Adam, my big my big little bro, slept right here, right here. So. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's kick ass. Yep. And uh, I had my dog here, which I was happy about because I missed my dog a lot. My dog here. Um, she was 
great, but my sister brought her dog and my dog does is not a social dog. So she um, was just kind of moping around the house, like wanting to be left alone. She has a certain walk when she's like not interested. She's like, looks down and just like walks around. She was not interested in that dog at all. I took my parents around Cleveland while it was 30 degrees out. And I was like, yeah, let's go home. Um, it was pretty good. Um, How was Cleveland? How's Cleveland doing doing to you? I don't go out much. I go out to get groceries. Uh, sometimes I go to Trader Joe's. We went to the University Circle. to hope. I was hoping that we could like <laughs> do some shopping around. And um, little do you know, when it's 30 degrees out, nobody wants to walk around university circle i do i hated it and we all went home i was when Um, i look at cleveland on a map i I always look at this little italy section near you is that that's literally where we were walking that's quite literally where we were walking when i was is it like italian is it like good is it like what oh apparently yes i haven't had it yet but yes i've I've heard it's good you just said you were there so you were walking around there i didn't get we didn't get anything did it like look Italian? Was it a nice place? Yeah, there was like a bunch of like I think it's like you speak. And then there were like Italian flags like on the on the playground and stuff. <laughs> There's I mean, also I, like I, an I Asia to town closer to, to a, downtown. That is then I, I it is bad. I've heard it is very bad. Um Why? I went to a playground for the first time in a while because there were no kids there. Bro, stop Asian hate. Apparently it's dog shit. My buddy Eric, the one who moved me in. He said mm-hmm. that is the reason he's never coming back to Cleveland. <laughs> so it's apparently pretty bad. Um, I think Cleveland in general is just pretty bad. But yeah, you're probably right. I like living here, though. I, 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 I'm, we'll see. Yeah, I'll go. I've yeah. never been there before, so I'll go out and find out. Um, wait, it's a pretty cheap flight, thinkies. too. Like I, w- I would think like later in the year, too, we could do round two. Maybe yeah. not. We'll see. Yeah. We could do that. Depends. I might fucking hate you. Maybe. You know, it's going to be two years in May. Isn't that crazy? It doesn't feel like that long at all. No. It feels like very new to me. <clears throat> it's, it still feels very new to me as well, too. Yeah. We're only at episode 34. <laughs> I, I actually, I had the thought, and I'm not, and this is not, I mean, this is something that maybe may happen down the line, but I had the thought of like, why don't we just do that plan that we had a year, like a you know, year ago at this point, or probably more, where we just do like hour long episodes once a week instead of two hour episodes every other week because I think it's yeah. just more digestible. But then I'm like, conversation doesn't flow as well. No, I think, I think an hour would actually th- flow better than the two hour conversation. But I, um, makes editing I, easier too. It does make editing, well, maybe just depending on why wouldn't I? Would, why well, well I, I guess what I'm saying is like you would edit the same amount of content anyway. So like, you know, like if you could still keep the same editing schedule, it's just if you're behind on one now, it's like, oh, well, we can just get that one out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it makes it less stressful to get stuff out, I guess is the point. Like yeah. you could give yourself a, a, a break from editing and only edit like half of it one week if you wanted to. Yeah, you want to do you want to do weekly episodes, Zach? Is that what you is that what you're pushing? I'm just I, you're the one that has to do it. So that's true. Yeah, the, we wouldn't be getting trailers for weekly episodes either. I mean, we haven't gotten them for the last few not weekly episodes, but regardless. I also think with the trailers too. I'm like, how well do those even work? Like, they're cool, sure, but like, how how many people are seeing that and going like? Yeah, I'm gonna go like click yeah, on their like profile the main, and click on the, the YouTube link. Yeah, like the actual like content shorts were yeah. better, definitely. Um, but you're right though. I need to get back on it. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying that at all, brother. I'm saying you take your fucking time. Show up when I tell you to show up, and give me a big smooch on the lips on January. Yeah, can 27th. I be honest with you? Go ahead. It was this was over the weekend. I downloaded 33, or no, I downloaded 32 because it wasn't on sync, or at least I don't think so. Uh, it had all the people on it. I thought it'd be funnier. And I watched, what timestamp is this? The first 14 minutes of it. And I said, I don't want to clip any of this. <laughs> and I closed it. I watched 14 minutes of it. And I was just like, 
I feel very uh, uninspired by these conversations and I closed it. I closed it down, but I did download it. I put it in a project file. If this, if we do like a shorter episode tonight, I could, we could, we could stream, continue streaming, uh, making of a couple shorts if you wanted. Well, that'd be fine. But my, um, for, for, for any episode that Tristan's on, just have him, just have the clip of him saying something that he shouldn't say. And then it's under his breath saying, sorry. And that's all you need. If that's a whole short. I'm going like, oh yeah, I hate women. Sorry. That shit's fucking funny. That's funny to me. I like. I think that shit's fucking hilarious. Tristan's a funny guy. He's a funny guy. I miss that little goob. I haven't talked to him in a while. I haven't talked to many people aside from you. I don't even talk to you that much right now. Yeah, we're fantasy star busy. universe streams, bro. What's going on, bro? The fantasy star universe community hates they're us at, now. They're at us. They're at our throats, bro. I didn't, I didn't have coffee tonight because it's a Tuesday night. Crazy. Do you usually drink coffee at night? No, I drink coffee for the podcast, though. Dude, did you see that long picture of me I put up in general? Yeah, you're a long-ass boy. You're a weirdly <laughs> long boy. That is a uh, picture that it reminds me of the picture you posted of yourself and your mom <laughs> in that one yeah, episode. Where yeah. You're like, you yeah. look at yourself and you're like, holy shit, how did I get to this point? Yeah. I mean, you're just long, do you believe? Do you believe that I'm like 6'4 now after seeing that picture? Actually, it's funny. Yeah, it, yes, it, but I, it was funny because I I mentioned what was it? I, I said said to, I was finishing gr- uh, grounded with the boys tonight, and I was talking to Brian about it. And that I picture? Was like, no, I was just talking to. I, I don't know. How, you're you being six four came into conversation, and Brian's like, "Oh, I didn't expect him to be that tall." I'm like, "Yeah, he gives me fucking <laughs> five nine energy for sure." No. You're five nine, bro, dude. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm not. I'm no scrappy dude. You're a little bit of a dis- cr- I'm scrappy no short dude. King. The the little the little fuck from the the only scrappy dude that I can think of is the one from the live action uh, Scooby Doo. <laughs> you can't think of the two D animated scrappy dude. I can't think. I can't. Is it just? Let me is, it just is it just Scooby Doo with a big, with a small body? That's like a little baby doo. Little baby doo. <laughs> little baby doo. Oh, I don't even know. I don't know what a baby do is. Baby do? I barely know her. Oof. Don't say you're doing a baby. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a few weeks. Not a lot has happened in my life. I played a lot of Pokemon clones, though. You want to hear about them? I don't. <laughs> I guess. I yeah. thought you moved to because you wanted to be more content brain, baby. I do. I like. I edited, you know, edited uh, on Monday some Elden Ring and shit. But uh, that was the most interesting thing I've done for the last two weeks, bro. I'm into Suica games. Are you familiar? No. They're the games where you drop a cherry on a cherry and then it makes a strawberry. And then you drop a strawberry on the strawberry and it makes a thing of grapes. And then you drop a grape on a like grape bejeweled? and it makes an orange. I don't know what Bejeweled is, bro. I'm in 2023. Like Candy brother. Crush? No. No, no, not like Candy Crush. Not like Candy Crush at all. You, you, it's, it is like Tetris with... Sh- fuck, it's not anything like Tetris. <laughs> it's like, you're great at explaining things. You should make a living off of doing what you're no, doing no, no. right now. No, no. You drop a a cherry onto a cherry. If you drop, then that makes a strawberry. And then you drop a strawberry on the strawberry and it makes a thing of a bundle of grapes. And then you drop a thing, a grape onto the grape and it makes an orange. And then a, a, and it makes a tangerine. And then it makes <clears throat> an apple. How and do you get makes, double points? You got to make the big watermelon. Watermelon's the big one. That's how you win. And I've been playing Suica games. The last like week. How do you spell it? S U I K A. And you are going to get addicted immediately. You're going to be like, I need to play a Suica right now. I'm not going to get addicted You're, to this you fucking baby get, <laughs> shit. You are going to get to addicted this baby to do. the Suica. You're going to be get. You're not. You stop doing babies. You're going to get addicted to Suica. Watch. 
Watch. Give it one day. You have two paths, Western man. One way is Suica games. The other way is fucking babies. That's you're going both the dire- you're going to go both directions eventually. <laughs> what? Why are you fucking babies? I'm not you. How 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 quick? If have if we have a conversation about you, is fucking there rule thirty-four of this? Of fucking babies? No. Whoa, there is Suica rule thirty-four. What the hell? Tell me about it. Explain it. This might be a baby. Jesus Christ! I'm going to get off of this fucking. You you know Poker Nut November? You know what that is? Poker Nut November? It's every day for November. You do <coughs> you do one to one thousand seventeen RNG. In the, the What's that pink the, thing behind you? The chair. Alexa sits here and poops here sometimes. Wanna see my picture of uh my dog? Yeah. What the fuck is it wearing, dude? Take that <laughs> My mom off bought of it. it a Frenchman Take costume that off today. Of it. And he Wait, hates it. it. Take it off. I don't know. Here's a high res version. Are you just sending it to me? Yeah. Oh, that poor dog looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you agree? He looks like he definitely he looks like, doesn't look happy. He looks like he he go he's like in like a cartoon prison. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, he looks like he's with SpongeBob <laughs> in the <laughs> rock breaking line. Yeah, dude. Uh, wait, what? SpongeBob. <laughs> Whoa! Did, was that your epiphany tonight, SpongeBob? I had, there, I had a SpongeBob thought today. <laughs> you had an epic, a big SpongeBob. All right, all right, all right. Thought. Give me, give me your first, the first. Your first when I when you think of SpongeBob, what is the first episode you think of? <laughs> My sister just talked about the Krusty Krab pizza episode earlier today, so that is just fresh on the mind. I feel like that's unfair, though. I feel like I'm biased because I had that conversation today. You are. That is true. I think of the bowl of milk <laughs> nails. I referenced that earlier this episode too. I think yeah. didn't I? The weenie hut. No, I don't know. Yeah. But bowl of nails. Weenie hut junior or something. Yes. Earlier. Yeah. yeah no. Bowl of nails. And then I think the episode that I think is most iconic though would be definitely the how you make a Krabby Patty. But the <clears throat> Spanky J says it's the pizza for you and me. Do we know Spanky J? Who the is fuck is Spanky J? Spanky J. F we is love for you. Friends who do stuff together. You is for you and me. That episode. That song was in my head as a kid. For years. And the best they ever song, also in my head. Still till right now. Ben, you know we can't you? do this episode live until you finish Elden Ring when I'm gonna be out there for an episode. That the IRL episode has to be highly edited. All right. Let me explain something to you, Zach. I have decided to I know to do a little bit of overhauling Elden Ring the Elden Ring video. <clears throat> it's because it's kind of turning into what I didn't want it to be, where it is, and I, this is like super tangential, super niche editor man talk, but it it's kind of turning into me narrating Evan said a funny joke, and then Evan says a funny joke. And I didn't want it to be like that, where it's just like you're, you're, you're I'm just saying what's going to happen. <laughs> I wanted to, the, the narration to add to it. So every time that happens in the video, I'm going to remove it i'm going to kind of over so we can get into a nitty-gritty conversation about this my only point was if i'm if i'm going to fly out there and do an irl episode it's not going to be a a, a half-assed affair i'm i i'm i have every monday off the rest of the year i'm going to try to get it done before the end of the year i'm really going to try my best to get it done before the end of the year because i i it it It'll be. It has to. It'll be a year since we finished the game, and I, I haven't even got to, uh, to scripting that part. But right now, I'm. I the most recent clip I've edited is December eighth. Not edited, sorry. Um, scripted, scripted is December eighth. Um, and I, I think we go until December twenty fourth. So I got like two ish weeks left. 
which is a lot. What's that, stopping you, know, you from just handing it off to a guy in Cleveland, Asia town and just saying, finish this. Hey, <laughs> listen, 20 bucks. I got, I got, I can't do this. Can you just like run and recreate my voice a little bit, throw it on there? I probably could do it. Do we want to go to, when we go to, when you come to Cleveland, you want to go to like one of those K-pop, like little, um, um, what do they call them? Like little photo shoot places. And we can like wear like 2022 glasses. Yeah. yeah. 2022. And we can like post together and, and hold each other. Sure. And then we can post those on Instagram. We use that. You used to. <laughs> yeah. Remember Snapchat? <laughs> Remember Snapchat? I think yeah, it was Snapchat, still use it. like. I think if I think about Snapchat often, it it is the like most irrelevant. I use it every day. Why? There are certain people I know that insist on that being their only messaging app. That's insane. But then, but then I have I have a couple streaks with people, and I like to post little weird things that I'm doing. Snapchat, in my mind, is the most like once wet once. Have me on Snapchat, bro. I think I have you on Snapchat. You don't have me on Snapchat. Do I not? <clears throat> Let me see. Let me see if I have it. The thing is, I like posting like the weird shit that I'm doing around uh, on there a lot. The issue with Instagram, though, is there's like people on Instagram that either I don't want them to see what I'm doing or it's like it just feels more professional to me. You know what I mean? Like it's a wider audience versus Snapchat where I'm like, I just post a bunch of goofy stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I got a Snapchat uh, story up right now. A chemical paint. You know how to find me. It's not that, but you know how to find me. Zach 70s show. Censor it. Is, is, that, is that really it? <laughs> no, I'm sure anyone could find me on. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm sure anyone could find me on it. I don't know how to. How do I send you? I just made one. I just made a snap. Am I old? Can you tell me if I'm old? Yeah, a little bit. You're a little old. My mom added me as a friend on Snapchat. Can you believe that? All right, I added you. Whoa. And I'm going to have gonna a you streak. A my dick. Hold on, I'm going to picture my dick. One. <laughs> Do you, I'll snap you all the time. Why? I, I had. Because it's I, great. I was getting so much shit notifications from Snapchat. I I disabled any notification from it. So you can send me a bunch, and I won't see them until I get like a lump sum at a random date. I should what have had filter. So should I apply to milk. this thing that I'm sending to you? Uh, it's small eyes. Well, I've already taken the picture. It can't be one of those. Paris. I don't know if that's actually a filter. I think it's a fair filter on Instagram. Oh my god. My tummy is making noises like I drank too much chocolate milk. Is that what you did? Yeah, it was like <laughs> You don't have snap maps turned on, you can <laughs> you, want watch, you want to see where I'm at, bro? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have it on? I want to track you. You know, um I do have it on right now, but I'm very picky about when I have it on. I have it turned off a lot of times. I really only turn it on when I'm like about to travel somewhere because I think it's cool that people can see like where I'm traveling. But I don't keep it on like normally, but I have it on right now. Why are you going to DC? Why not? Like literally everything else in my life is there. What? Wait, what does that mean? Uh, family, friends, the things I grew up with. It's all there. You don't have like a plan. You're just like, eh, I'm gonna show up. No, I have an uh, an aggressive plan. Okay, do you want do you want to hear my plan? <clears throat> People think Tell I'm me. insane when they hear my plan, but I've done this before. Yeah. I'm gonna me. fly into DC on Saturday. My flight's at 6 a.m. and I'm gonna land at uh, 2 p.m. I'm okay. going to Metro into downtown DC and check into my hotel room. Then I have a cousin that lives in DC. She works in like, yeah, and she works for some nonprofit and she works in politics and stuff like that. I, I'll, I'll talk to her about it. I'll get more info than that when I, when I talk to her, but she lives in DC. Uh, I'm going to go out with her for dinner 
And then, you know, I'll take my girlfriend out to a few bars or something like that. We'll see, see the town Sunday. Uh, my friend, one of my friends from Virginia is going to drive up. We're going to go to the Washington commanders game. It's going to be rainy and like 30 degrees. It's going to be like 30 something degrees and rainy. It's actually going to be awful, Sounds but I've already spent money on a ticket. Yep. So God damn it. I'm going, um, that's my Sunday. Monday, going to Metro back to the airport and rent a car. If you have questions about that, I have an explanation for it. I promise you that seems like the easiest thing to do. Um, and then I'm going to drive to Frederick, Maryland, where I used to live and meet my friends from Frederick, Maryland for a day. Um, I have an Airbnb there. I'm going to go out with them for a night. Then for the next two days, I'm going to drive down the... <laughs> Why? Maybe I shouldn't say that. Uh I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I have, I gotta uh, cut that now, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna. I mean, it's fine. I have grandparents and aunt and uncles that live like uh, about an hour south that we're gonna go drive uh, and, and see them for the next two days. Then I'm gonna go back through West Virginia, which is where I used to live for a little bit just to see it. Um, and then down, I'm gonna take her to Luray Caverns down in Virginia, um, which is like a little cool natural cave, mm-hmm. like. Uh, history area and then that same day drive back up to like ethan's part of town um still out there in the middle of nowhere virginia sorry to say middle of nowhere i don't have a better way of describing it off the fly um i think one of ethan's friends is like a musician we're gonna go see him play and then we're gonna hang out for the next like two days with them and their crew and then i'm gonna drive back up to dc and fly back out to arizona I'm going to get back here at like midnight to 1 a.m. And then I'm going to work. I'm going to go to work that day. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a fun plan. Although that sounds like an amazing plan. All of it until the very end. Sounds like it. Why? Who cares? I'm young. Now's the time where I can do stuff like that. Okay. I, I, I went. All right. When I was, when I was like 19 or 20, I heard on a radio show this 19 year old being like, now is the time. Now you're gonna look the best. Now, blah 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 blah. You know, going like you should go clubbing and all this shit. I was like, yeah, he's probably right. I'm not telling you you should go clubbing. No, I know, I know, I know. But I, I'm just I, saying, I, when I'm like 30, 40, 50 years old, at some point I'm gonna go like, there's no way I could possibly go to sleep at like one or two a.m. Get up, go to work, and be fine. I can't do that now. I mean, I'm gonna struggle with it, but like, you know. I'm going to get there and I'm going to do work. It's going to suck for a day, but it'll be worth it to go to where I want to go and do what I want to do. You know, why didn't you just take PTO that day, my brother? Cause I took PTO for a week prior to go. Why don't you just take one more day? I don't, I don't get it. You get pretty good. PTO, I don't think do they not? would allow me to take a week plus a day. Oh, was a week already too much to ask for uh, a little bit. We work for kind of a small team. If one of us is out, it's kind of a, a deal. Everything off. Yeah, I mean, there, uh, I, I'm sure there could be some flex, but a week a week off is enough time for me. Yeah, I'll make it happen. Um, yeah, I I have very much much envy for you who can make like an, have an itinerary or that kind of stuff. I'm very bad at having any sort of itinerary. Um. I normally leave it up to somebody else to like make the plans. You're like, oh, we're gonna go here, gonna go here, gonna go here. I mean, I, I was all right with it when I was like looking for houses down in Virginia and up in upstate New York, in here. Um, but it was like one thing. It was, you know, it was like one thing. It was like we we're gonna go look at houses. I mean, like if you think about the itinerary I just gave you, a lot of what I said is I'm gonna go to a city and then be with people, and there's not really a plan. You know what I mean? It's just I know yeah. this day I need to go to this city and be with these people. I don't know what I'm going to do like that. So you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's, it's a strict itinerary in the sense that like there's going to be a lot of driving and seeing a lot of people and seeing a lot of things. But at the same time too, it's not like I'm like, we're going to go to this restaurant and then we're going to go see this thing. And then we're going to go do this with that person. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying like this day, I'm going to get up, drive to this city or town, see these people and I don't know what's going to happen, but that's what I'm going to do that day. Like, that's the plan. You know what I mean? The plan yeah. is I don't have a plan aside yeah, from being yeah. there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that, 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 that sounds like a good time. And then you're, uh, you know, you're only going to be there a week. I mean, plus 
two weekends. Yeah, fair. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'd assume most. Of the people what is up with you and not liking to like do quick turnarounds on stuff? When I pitched this whole weekend in Cleveland thing, you were like, "No, come out a week." It's like I'm not going to take it. Like, no offense. Like I, I, I don't like. We've never met each other in person before. I've never been to Cleveland before. I, I've just taken a lot of time off. It's like I'm not going to take another week off to go to Cleveland and just shoot stuff. Like for me, I'm in and I'm out. You know what I mean? Like. I want to go. I yeah. want to see you. I want to have a good time with you. I want to get some stuff done. And then there's, there's no reason for me to be there right I now like more than chill. a couple days. I like to chill a little bit. You know, I'm like, I'm like, sit back, you know, relax, have a, you know, play some sweet gun on my TV. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of what Watch, I'm, I'm going to fly. We're not going to shoot anything. I'm going to be sitting on that pink chair behind you and you're going to be playing a sweet gun. And every time I'm like, that's Ben, right. you should, you should go, you go, shh, shh, shh. Yeah, I get the watermelon. Almost at the watermelon. Gotta get the watermelon. <laughs> gotta get the watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. And then I'm gonna yeah. fly back home. That'll yeah. be my trip. Yep. I see that. That's my thing. Is like I like to like. There's. It's cool doing a bunch of shit, but I'm like, I want to just kind of like take it in. Take it well, in. tell that's you what. That's why I'm. Like we essentially more. have like two days. We have like a day and two half days. Yeah. I'm <laughs> saying like, pick 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 the day, the full day to like do content or whatever you want to do. And then we have those two half days to just like chill. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm down for that. You just take the full what Sunday or whatever it is to. Yeah. Just make a bunch of stuff. And then yeah. it's like that I mean, Saturday beforehand. It's like, we can just chill, you know, no, no pressure yeah. to do anything at all. Just <laughs> yeah. we'll hang out. Happy birthday. You know, let's get some food, take a just walk, a something. It. I, yeah. I I told I told uh, I told Alex I was like there's there's just I I for my birthday because I, I think a lot of people like want to go out and they want to like go you know go to like a, a, some restaurant or something and they want to like get food I honestly just like get me like like Uber eats me some ramen or something let me let me just like play my switch <laughs> like that's that's like it's just which is like a normal day just with ramen you know but. I swear to God if I have to hear birthday sex on my trip it's gonna be the day you leave okay you can celebrate yeah. my departure it's we're gonna leave come back at like you know 2 p.m and that, there it is smash yeah. yeah just smash immediately um what do you want for yeah. your birthday zaki kun in town i don't know it's a Is racist it? name huh it's a racist oh, okay. name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that before. I think. Did I cut that? I don't know if I cut that in the in the original. Hopefully, there's I a didn't. lot of people. It's only racist until you make it because it can also mean like raccoon or as you're saying, it's like a Japanese thing. It's, it's only honorific. racist until you acknowledge it. I just can't you're help the, myself yeah, you, but acknowledge it. You, yeah, you, you are the one acknowledging it. Um, but here we are. It, it snowed. In Cleveland, it snowed today. Wow, isn't that a little bit nutty? It snowed in Cleveland. Looks like and God got a little make, nutty. I had to. I had to make <laughs> a one pass in my driveway today. <clears throat> because what's going to happen when I'm out there? You're going to tell me to shit. That's exactly you know what I want for my birthday. Shovel. <laughs> that would be great be. if there was if there was snow then I'd make you shovel for sure. Hopefully there's no snow. That'd be that'd be a little sad and cringe. I mean, what what kind of water are you drinking? Tell me the, what is the brand? Is it Propel? I don't know what that means. I actually don't remember. <laughs> it's, it's a red label, whatever it is. Red label. or was. I I I find it annoying as fuck that Poland Spring becomes less and less known the further you get away from the east coast it makes me really mad like it's number one i know it because i grew up with some of it it's number one in the northeast coast yes i know there's a map i saw number six on the list it's in that we get fucking ice mountain water which is dog shit it's like tap water garbage water brand map here it is arrowhead arrowhead's the west coast yeah poland springs the northeast deer park 
is like the Mid Atlantic and South. Yep, yep. U.S. Deer park. Yep, we got a bunch of Deer Park. Kind of also tastes like ass. Yeah. Then the Midwest has Ice Mountain, and then the uh, Texas, Louisiana. Wait, Ice Missouri. Mountain is the main water here. Yeah, that's what it says. Ice Mountain that goes all the way out to sucks Ohio. Asshole. It is so fucking trash. It tastes like tap water. I had my mom try it and she went, it tastes like, it tastes like it's so bad. You don't even, you don't feel hydrated after drinking it. All right, go ahead. Yeah. Well, they, uh, the Texas, Louisiana, Missouri, Oklahoma, Nebraska area has Ozarka. <laughs> Ozarka. Yeah, I guess it's a play on the Ozarks. What's this one in Florida though? There's like a little thing down in Florida. Zephyrillus? Sounds like a STD. Zephyrus. I, I have no idea. Never heard of that. That's what it says they got down in Florida. You know, you know what else they got down in Florida? What? Disney and old people and gays. They got some gays. No, not my aunt, anymore. My 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 aunt lives in. Um, Your lawn. My aunt lives in Florida, and she's gay. So, would so, she be okay with you saying that? That she's gay. Yeah, probably. <laughs> she uh, she left the army because uh, they started uh, cracking down on gay. R.I.P. She's alive. <laughs> Not to me. <laughs> uh, oh fuck your you, you gay! Know what, you know my least favorite kind of laugh is. <laughs> what? The ones that are like a smile and then like a those ones they're like silent, a silent laugher, yeah, a silent chuckler, or like a I Bird get just violent. Emoted. I get he just violent. did a pinky doll. <laughs> you ever do the gritty with your boy on a podcast? <laughs> no. I don't know how to Would do the gritty. Do. How do you do the gritty? I'm not falling for this. <laughs> I'm not falling okay. for this scam. Just tell me how to do it. I don't even know. How, it's like left foot, left foot, something in the fetal. What's that? the song go? I just learned the d- difference. My Alexis the other day, she was like, uh, I was like, I don't know how to do the, st- uh, the, the, the Dougie. I go, can I don't you, know how to do the can you teach me Dougie? Yeah. And so I, I go like this. I go like this. Hold on. I go I go like this. I go like this. I go. It she goes like that's Joe Para. <laughs> she goes, she goes, that's not the Dougie. And I'm like, no, yes, it's fucking the, it is the Dougie, idiot. That's definitely the Dougie. And she goes, you know that's the, the stanky leg, you dumb shit. <laughs> This oh, is the doggy. It's the like this doing. or something like that. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck is what? You, what is the doggy? Can you can you hit the Quan? Is that the? Uh... No, that's Millie rocking. Ah, I'm all out of dances in New York. I'm Millie Rock, hiding in my sock. Um, what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else. You want me to do the jerk? I don't know how to do the jerk. I can do the soldier boy. Dab. No, this is young Jack. This is soldier boy. This is young Jack. You seen that video? Uh, no. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm out. Of, I'm out. Of, I'm out of shape. <laughs> Say that again. I am. Um, I feel like I start these conversations, and I'm like, I feel like when we first started the show, the way that it would go was, I wouldn't know what to say for. 30 minutes and then I would know what to say. You know what I mean? And it would, it would be good. Now I feel like it's kind of inverted for me where it's like, I'm off the rip pretty good. And then as we go on, I'm like, the fuck am I even doing with my life anymore? Yeah. You blabber about. And, (laughs) and then, and then I, and I'm like stunlocked and then I blabber out and you're stunlocked. What's your best food you've eaten in Ohio so far? It's been really good. We get this thing called nothing bunt cakes. <laughs> we have that out here. Is that true? I swear to God. I had what? one like two months ago for someone's birthday. 
Yeah, those are the best, probably. Okay, so your best thing isn't even from Ohio. No. Oh, I lied. I lied. We went to Cleveland Chop in I'm Cleveland. It, up. it has the best. We have we have both got filet mignon. A little bit pricey, dude. Cleveland Chop. This is in like downtown Cleveland. Yeah, I think so. It's like right outside of downtown Cleveland. A little brick house. It's she's uh, a brick. We had we had dude the flamingon with like a little bit of blue cheese on that shit was unbeatable. Is, is this gonna be your birthday dinner when I'm out there? Am I, I just gonna third Cleveland wheel? Shop. Is that gonna be this whole time? Is I'm just gonna yeah. third wheel? Yeah, take it's, dates it's, with you. Yeah. I, just want, I actually just want you to be the cameraman for her OnlyFans. Me and me and her are just gonna go at it. <laughs> that would unironically be the funniest thing. <laughs> um. No, yeah, it would be, job. you would be, I mean, no offense, you would be the funniest person to uh, assault me out of anyone. Like, let's, let's, let's like, break like, that down the, a little like bit. Bits, what does that mean? The, the, like, if I flew out to Cleveland and you raped me, the, the, <laughs> the bits from my friend group, like, I would never live it down. You know what I mean? Like, if, like, there's, if, anything, I got, if there's any if I character got, development that I could have. That is the character development that you think would be best suited for me? No, not best suited. I'm just saying, like, if I was in, like, a downtown, you know, if I I went to downtown Baltimore and I got held up by knife point and and assaulted or something or violated, then it's like, you know, I'm sure someone might say a joke, but overall I feel like I'd get support. But if I flew out to Cleveland, (laughs) <laughs> and you by and you violated me. I feel like I couldn't like like it just wouldn't there would never be a moment of sympathy. It would always be like you're that guy who let the fucking ape man rape him. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, all right, we can yeah, we can we can film that too. No. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> uh just uh you, you can't, you can't looks good though. It, You'll dude, pay that for me. It's super, yeah, sure. It's super good, dude. It's it's so fucking these, these fire. fried little asparagus bitches. I Go love ahead. my favorite thing is when people upload pictures of themselves to Google Maps, where it's like you'll scroll through Cleveland Shop and here's like a picture of like two guys, yeah, out two front dudes. or like a girl, like in, yeah, like at a table with like no food. But yeah. what my favorite thing is what I got to start putting like compilations for is. It, Every restaurant without fail, if you scroll, sometimes it's not even far. Sometimes it's like two pictures deep. But for a lot of restaurants, you have to scroll a bit. But you'll find it every time. Just someone's like half-eaten sandwich <laughs> with like the flash on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. like, like they'll go to like just a, a regular, regular burger shop, eat like three bites, take the lid off, and there's like greasy little mayo and there was like a picture with a flash on. I have so on. many issues and, with what you're saying. Even before you finish your point, you said regular degular and you said <laughs> the lid of a burger. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Are you you talking know what about? I mean, though. Regular like the, degular? Like, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can I share screen or does that not work? Is that going to be too much editing uh, if I press on that? Try it. Are you sure? Yeah, send it. Don't know until you try. Sorry, I yelled. Okay, can you see this? Yes. Look at this picture. That is a hilarious picture. It's like, it's like, who? Why would you upload this? Who in their right mind just said, like, yeah, the streets got to see this? You know, like, like this is an okay. Like, I don't know. Uh, a, little, a little foggy, almost. <laughs> this is a nice restaurant too. You said this place was phenomenal. So let's just scroll down and keep seeing here. This. Why? Why did you upload Dude, this picture? Why do you, did, did you think this is going to make me eat here? But this shit is so fire, though. <laughs> that cornbread shit is so good. Oh, I'm not ah. denying that. Look at these tacos. <laughs> so Those are interesting so- looking tacos. Yeah, they're flaming down. They're so fucking good. I just want to cream, dude. Come and cream all over the boys. <sighs> Uh, this picture. Why? Why did you upload this? Go on, Sean Donovan. What the fuck is that? Yeah, I guess I'm just straight up doxing people now, but that's fine. Fuck them. 
I, I don't give a shit about that at this point in the show. Yeah, but they posted it publicly. Yeah, true. You know, if this show was more popular, I'd care a little bit more. Honestly, at this point, I do not give a shit about stuff like that being on the show. Uh, these guys. Why the fuck do I care about these guys? And it's not even these guys' fault. These guys are probably fine. It's whoever took this picture. Why did you upload this? This is my favorite kind of food. It's just two... Yeah, two, wait, man. two two big pieces of white meat but it's like let's just go to a random restaurant like let's go to this uh fucking wonton barbecue place like i guarantee you this is like every restaurant i guess it's a video uh this one surprisingly so far seems to have good pictures times. but like but if you keep scrolling it'll be there this picture yeah, yeah. why did you i mean i guess this shows you the inside i guess um kind of a weird picture to upload but whatever i guess this isn't like half eaten but it's still a bad picture yeah it looks like the theme of this show this looks like cum soup it's not even a fully formatted picture look at that (laughs) Uh, i want to find like someone's half eaten food though i like i guarantee you it's in here somewhere i hope this is showing up on the stream (laughs) if not this will be very confusing This picture. Why did you upload this? I just wanted to show the kitchen. These pictures. I was, well, I will say this though. This restaurant has less of it. But like, oh yeah. Here, let's let's go. Uh, oh shit! I would zoom into Arizona, but it would like actually dox me. I have my Google Maps set up to like do that, <laughs> like show all the places, like where I work and where I it is live and everything. Street, by the way. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's go like over here. What is this deli? Twenty only twenty four photos, so less less likely to have it. What the fuck is this? What is I guess that? that's better. But it, it is a oh. weird food. Oh, that's just a fuck ton of like very thin ranch on a. Look, what why would you upload this? Yeah, I better come up here. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> <It's a chicken. laughs> Cleveland, bro. Can you hear this? Yeah. First deli. What's on Superior. it? Superior. I got chicken. Pickle. That's great, dude. We gotta go here. Look at this. This is the perfect example. Who the fuck wants to see this? Who? If you thought this was a good idea, why, why would I look at this and go, "Ooh, what? I gotta go there"? Even, but even like, it even looks gross. The, the concept of like, oh, maybe they picked the wrong picture. Why would you take a picture of that? This is just, just a CCTV. CCTV. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, like alert, paper alert. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I could do this all day, man. So you tell me when to stop. I love this shit. I love just going and being like, these are people's gross ass. This pizza looks bad. I do that not like this. Look this that that looks disgusting. Bad. This isn't even like bad photography. This just pizza. looks like, yeah, this looks like disgusting looks- pizza. Look at this. It doesn't even give a fuck guy? that his pizza looks gross. That's a little better, but like not really. That looks fucked. I hate this place. <clears throat> this place might have the best photographer so far, but it doesn't matter because the pizza looks disgusting. Looks dog shit. It looks really awful. But Angela's. This place looks nice. Oh, I passed by here. <laughs> There's a place, Angelo's in Lakewood. It's It's a little bit out of... Cleveland, but it's really good. This doesn't look too bad. No, no, no. So far, so good. This you know, picture. I don't think I. Why I are think... you uploading this? Oh. Why? Why? Why did you take a picture of this? Why did you put it on Google Images? Look, why just, is it just, ranked? Maybe they why? think that it's a. Maybe they think it's a. They think it's a review. Look or at this. Either. Who the fuck? Why? You saw all the pictures before. This looks like a nice yeah. restaurant. Why would you intentionally make it look disgusting? Yeah. Look at this. Is it Why? That? Why are you uploading this? Who are you people? <laughs> I don't. They seem really happy. Who wants it, to see you two at a restaurant? I don't get it. I don't get this either. I'm sure what they're the lovely fuck? people. Why do I care? Why? Oh, what is Stop that? Stop this. Oh, what the fuck? 
All right, yeah, pick somewhere else. Pick somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's look at the McDonald's. Oh, no. Oh, they got the old classic McDonald's. I miss these. Preserve this shit. There's a McDonald's near me, a few minutes away from me. I won't look at yours because it'll probably ruin it for you. Yeah. Like, I'm happy your kids are happy. I don't know why they got to be on here. This looks disgusting. I guess you haven't mm. eaten it, so I'll give you points for that, but it still looks bad. That's hilarious. They don't give a <laughs> fuck in there, bro. <laughs> that, that's funny. I actually Maybe respect him their, for uploading they'll, they'll that throw one. Their, their, their onions back at you. Yeah, that, that is that they that do be true, though. This picture. Prime example. Oh, that is such a per wait, am I am I crazy? Am I blind? Is that like a perfectly circular bite? <laughs> it's a Homer Simpson bite. That's like comedically circular. <laughs> yeah. They're like, bro, Tom Cruise bit that. They got perfect teeth. I'm telling you. This. Oh, I guess he's complaining. It says no pickle. And there's clearly a pickle. There's fucking pickles on there. He took that whole shit apart just to show these pickles. Pickles are like the easiest thing to remove, though. Oh, wow. No this cuts is, to them and health. They're protesting. This is McDonald's. You think this is a good review or a bad review? Five stars. Let me protest. Bro, Ronald's caked up here. Ronald's got a up big dumpy. And his, his, his suit is getting too small for him. <laughs> Why did you upload this? <laughs> they, want to, they want to see how gross it is. I there. love it. I like, th- yes. <laughs> Roy Johnson. Do you think he just uploads pictures of himself at like every restaurant? This is a crazy image. Look at this, this is a crazy image. I, I want I want to hear Fortunate Son while he's just standing there. This is awesome. I love this guy. This guy Can is I follow awesome. him? Yeah. Can I like be this guy? He just uploads pictures. He, he put a picture of himself on Home Depot on Google Maps. What? I love it. Home Depot? There's a Home Depot in the background. What? Is that a Home Depot? Mm-hmm. Look. No, oh, I guess the fucking Zoom thing. Yeah, it's a Home Depot look right there. Yo, know, you're not showing anything on the stream. I think it's the wrong window, maybe. Oh. I opened up his profile in another tab, but I'm only streaming this tab. Okay, yeah. that explains it. Saw we stop hate at this McDonald's. No That's fine. ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> just, that's Pikachu weird. box. Yo, Pikachu box. <laughs> Bro ordered a cum latte. That's crazy. I would too. Awesome. That's to be fair, fucking though, grotesque. That's vile. If I got that at McDonald's, I would upload that too. That's disgusting. That's horrifying. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna like leave a review or a picture, normally it's gonna be bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. That's true. I feel like a Turkish grill. I love Mediterranean and Middle Eastern food, but like I feel like it's more likely that there's going to be some gross shit for some reason. Is that a, is that a is that a cheese banana? <laughs> what am I looking at? It looks like ketchup curry. What? <laughs> Dude, this looks bomb. I would eat this shit up in a heartbeat. Like this whole meal here, that looks amazing. Do you want to go to Ruby's? Rummies? I don't know. Maybe, but that that meal did look good. Is that pizza? That's pizza. How do you feel like this podcast has now just turned to me like looking through Google Maps? Honestly, <laughs> this is all I want. I want I want you to tell me where I shouldn't shouldn't go in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah, we're just reviewing <laughs> without even eating food. We're just like window shopping and reviewing. <laughs> we're reviewing <laughs> Google Maps profiles for restaurants in your area. <laughs> Just pick a random restaurant and go through the reviews. You know that would be an interesting. Me? What? Let me go ahead. First. Oh, I was gonna say that would be an interesting like YouTube channel concept. Is it's like every day, like we would batch record content, and it's like every day we pick a new random restaurant in the entire world, and like we do a video where we just go through their whole like Google Maps and Yelp profile and like read all the reviews, look at all the pictures and just commentate on it like this. And we upload it to YouTube. I feel like it would get views because eventually like a restaurant, like someone would look it up. Right. 
And they'd be yeah, like, wow, someone sure. did a video on Rumi's Market and Turkish Grill. I love that place or I hate that place or that place is near me or something. And then it would be this and they'd be like, that, wow, wow, that was hilarious content or that was awful content. Probably you option know? B. Um, this place I looks good. Hate, I hate, I hate, I hate curry. I fucking hate, I can't stop thinking about it. I the thing about curry. curry is curry can mean like a million different things. So every time someone says they hate curry, I go like, I, I go through all the curry experiences in my brain and there are curry experiences that I hate and I find disgusting. And there are curry experiences that have just changed my life in a positive way. And so I just wonder, you also live in like white people land too. No yeah, offense. It might be white people. Curry. So, you know, I, I think you might be eating because I grew up with my mom making like, you know, no offense to my mom or her cooking. She makes great food, but like, you know, the curry she made was like this prepackaged curry. She would like do with like with like a cheese and broccoli type thing. I don't know why, but I hated it. And I always thought I hated curry growing up because she made it like that. Um, but now that I'm older, I just know that like, you know, curry, curry saying you hate curry is like saying you hate sandwiches. It's like, I guess it's true, but like. I feel like you can find a different sandwich, you know? I feel like you can find a different sandwich. Um, no. <laughs> Fair enough. That's probably the most <laughs> honest rebuttal you could have possibly given me. Sandwiches, sandwiches. All right. I'm gonna give my I'm gonna give my opinion. I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say it. Is this quail? Last few times I've had sandwiches. Well, wait. I guess it depends when. Look at this sandwich. Yeah, probably right. That looks like it's melting. That looks like melting bread. How do, it looks crispy, dude. Crispy. That looks crispy. I feel like I would like tap a little fork on that, and you'd hear like a from this part of the crust. What about the top? Like, what what, what, what the top sound like? <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to make sure we were on the same page because I, I get what you're saying. Look at these cheeses, dude. I bet these right, stank but, in a good way. All right, what is, name all those cheeses on the table right now. <clears throat> this is Boy Beyond Cheese. Boy Beyond, all right. This is uh, Eddie Munster. Eddie, my guy. This is Ratatouille. That's a movie. This is uh, Guy Fieri Cheese. Okay. Uh, this isn't she is. It's leftover cum from last night. Okay. Uh, the guy up there. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a sandwich, actually. It's just a okay, weird looking sandwich. Got it. Yeah. This is a trapezoidal, trapezoidal cheese. Oh, that was um, cool. Yeah. This is a green cheese. Green cheese. This is. Um, I'm going to stop this bit. Okay. <laughs> there, were done, too many done there were too many cheeses on there to yeah. continue the bit bro this place looks fire too but again I guarantee you there's going to be some whack ass picture in here somewhere this has got to be like six dollar signs or something like that right like, this is like super expensive it looks like uh, let's look at the menu this is another example where it's like again points for not eating it but like the you just took a picture like again presumably with the flash if not like the lighting on this is just super harsh yeah. doesn't look good uh, this is, desserts are like nine bucks. It's not awful. Not horrible. It looks more ritzy than it seems to be. Let's see. The, Let's look at the actual the, menu. My my uh, Alexis's litmus test for these are if their French onion soup is good. So it looks like they have some entrees in like the twenties. Nothing above thirty though, except for this duck confit and this cassoulet. Oh, What's and this fucking for a bowl base and, for two. Yeah. Uh, 70 I guess, bones. I guess those are expensive, but like, ever look at this. Like, there's some normal shit on here. You know what I mean? Pork two ways. <laughs> That'll be what happens when you and I <laughs> go out there. Night one, night two, bro. Pork two ways. Pork two ways yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, dude, sex. you want rat it? Okay. <laughs> it's like some of this shit seems good, and then you get down here, and it's like $12 for radish and cucumber. <laughs> This this place has like they don't even try. It's with a the reasonable names, price, though. You know. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But they it's just a don't French, try French roasted restaurant vegetable. In Cleveland, roasted Ohio. vegetable. What vegetable is it? <laughs> Explain it to me. You know, one time I, my my older brother, uh, looked at a me menu, uh, for a breakfast place, and when he found, I don't the, believe that. When he found the most expensive item, he just started laughing. 
It was like nine dollars. It was like a normal price. <laughs> he just started laughing. That's all. That's the whole story. That's an awesome story. That's great. That was pretty good. You know what? Maybe Cleveland's Google Map mappers have it a little bit better than some other parts of the world. Oh, you want to want to hear a joke? No. My um. My um. Where are you going now? I'm gonna find oh, some gross ass pictures. I'm gonna find them somewhere. Corn pizza. Uh, These are all pretty good pictures, to be frank. So I mean, far, they're too bad. You know, uh, it's funny. I know places in Phoenix I could pull up, but again, I'm not going to do it on yeah, this stream at least because I, I just, I know it'll dox me. Um, my uh, during during Thanksgiving, my my mom was talking about gnocchi, uh, <clears throat> mm-hmm. and my dad, my dad looks horrible. Uh, my dad, my. Dad goes, yeah, we haven't made gnocchi in a while. And my mom, my mom started laughing because it sounded like sex. And then my mom's like, yeah, we <laughs> haven't. <laughs> uh, Based okay. mom. Based mom. Thanks, mom. How does it feel knowing that like 30 minutes of this podcast is a Google Maps reviews? I, th- I Honestly, I think that could be like a whole form of content in the future. I think so. Because we just look at Google Maps restaurants and we, we tell it. it we we express if they are shit or good just by the pictures that are taken of them. I'm telling you, we want to bucket labs would be a bigger channel than anything we have right now. If we just every day uploaded a new Google maps <clears throat> review of a place, we had to call it by that, like Cleveland, Ohio, this restaurant name, mm-hmm. Google maps reviews. Okay. It'd like title it that. So that way people like look that look up that restaurant. will find we'll, it. We'll, you know? we'll be huge in Cleveland. Is that what I you want, want to do it all over? But yeah, we can do it. We can specialize in a Cleveland if you want. Well, yeah, it has a lot of people. <laughs> How much? I don't know. <laughs> How many? Wait, actually, let's take a guess. Take a guess. How many people do you think are in Cleveland? Uh, are we counting metro area or just downtown, like normal the Cleveland whole borders thing? So including that, so when you look up population, you're gonna look up the Cleveland metro area. Yeah, including that, yeah. I feel like it's about a million. I know that, that sounds like kind of a well. basic answer, but like I'm trying to think because like New York City and LA have like what 18 million each? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Phoenix, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like what, like from there, like 18 sizes smaller sounds about right. I don't know. So, what is it? I was going to guess 1.1 million. It is 370,000. Oh, like, uh, wow. Well. A lot less than both of us thought. Fair enough. When I went to Iceland, I looked that up. They have like a three hundred thousand person population, and I'm like, for a whole country in all of Iceland. Yeah, I'm like, some of these people have to like build roads and shit. Some of these people have to be like doctors. Some of these people are musicians. Like, right? Like, think about it. I think about every job that has to exist within a country. I'm like, how do you have enough people for all that? Yeah, that's true. Do they export anything? Specific? I mean, kind of, because they they're really big into like geothermal power, right? And so, like, they export just like power. You know what I mean? Um, and like okay. a lot of like carbon neutral tech and shit like that. Um, they they have a lot of tech corporations that live there and everything. Now, uh, they make most of their money from like tourism, though. Most of their money comes from like tourism tech companies. Um, that type of, that type of thing being like an international stop between the U S and Europe and shit. Um, 
but uh, they, they export some shit. Like they're known for having like really good lamb. You know, there's some like craftsman shit that comes out of there, but nothing like major. I mean, let me mm. see if I'm wrong. I just making exports. shit up at this point. Well, I'll let you Maybe know. with you. I do. I make up so much shit. Oh, well, I guess smells. they do a lot of aluminum smelting, or as the British would call it, aluminum smelting. And then, yeah, fishing and tourism. It says down here. Well, this is what Fish can account for 52% of their, or 42% of their wow. exports. Wow. And they probably don't have enough people to do them. So it's like, it's like not, it's like a drop in the bucket, most likely, worth of fish. What kind of fish? Does it say um, what kind of fish? Arctic char. Nah. I ain't real yeah. fish. I can't That's catch that fish. animal crossing. That's not a real fish. It's a real fish. You gotta ever catch a sturgeon? In real life? In Animal Crossing. Yes. And in Red Dead Did Redemption 2. Wow. Wait, that's actually kind of a flex. In Red Dead Redemption 2, you also caught a sturgeon? I'm not a sturgeon. They're easier to catch in Red Dead 2. Is that true? You know, Sonic, more Frontiers, had a, Sonic Frontiers had a fishing... Sonic, I Sonic am a sturgeon. A- you I got am a sturgeon, it. You Dr. Got Han. It. it took a few seconds, but you got it. Is that it. really what you were trying to say? Yes, I am a sturgeon. Yeah, How yeah, were yeah. you trying to say that? I said, I am a sturgeon. I, that's, those are the words that came out of my mouth as I said, I am a sturgeon. No, and I didn't hear that. my joke. I am a sturgeon, Ben Paquette. I can't wait till you're here and I can just beat the fuck, fucking living <laughs> shit. I can violently rape you. <laughs> Is that going to be stuck in your mind forever? <laughs> yeah, until, until the deed is done. <laughs> I'm going to bring a gun. <laughs> Do you think they'll let me bring a gun on an airplane if I'm like, no, I'm going to crash at a guy's house who's threatening to rape me? <laughs> like, oh, yes, yeah, sir. Come on through. Uh, holy shit. That is fucking funny. Why would you say that? Because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> you know, you, you want to see what my plates look like? I kind of want to be surprised. <laughs> that's, the part, that's the part of the podcast that we're at. Do you want to see the size, the shape of my plate? They're not interesting. They're just like a normal size plate, a normal shape plate. Uh, oh, wait, I actually, love you. There's, there's, there's personal information over there uh, that could dox me and uh, get me killed. That's how like, I feel too. There, there's certain things in the show name. now that I genuinely don't think I'm afraid to like say anymore, but also like my home address on Google Maps is still like not one of them. <laughs> you know, like like a little dot showing exactly where I live and exactly where I work is probably not great. Do you have uh, your your Google timeline on? Yes. And I have a Google phone. Okay. And I have Google Photos, which syncs all of that stuff together. Oh, wow. And I actually Google- recently started paying for Google One, which is like their backup cloud service thing. I'm going to go on my Google timeline right now. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get like the week. Can I get like the week? No, I don't think so. All right, I'm going <clears> to. <throat> yeah. One. That's November. One. Do you want to see everywhere I've been since I've been like, since I've turned like 20? Oh, yeah, I can't be right. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't want to share my screen again. I feel like that would mess up the timeline too much. That's actually fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um, Once is enough. Doing it twice, I feel like, is a lot. I drove an hour and four minutes on Sunday. 46 minutes on Friday. 41 minutes on Tuesday. An hour and 24 minutes on the, the Friday before that. An hour 26 of th- Thursday before. Like, I have not driven at all. Like, I've been home uh, playing Sweet Out on my thing. Dude, hermit hours are here. And you know what? It's the best of both worlds. Anna Montana once said. So. She do be saying that. 
You ever watch that show? Every day I had a big drew. crush on Miley Cyrus. Huge crush on Miley Cyrus when I was <laughs> 13. Uh, Guess how much time I spent driving oh. today. An hour and 24 minutes. Pretty close. An hour and 14. And I didn't stop Damn. anywhere. That's, that's I, directly from work and back. Damn. I wish I got that exactly right. That would have been so fucking cool. <laughs> You're exactly bad, 10 minutes off. That's yeah. not bad, though. I, mean, I want to know my, my trip to work. It's get out of bed, feed the cats, go to my desk, sit here and for nine, eight hours. Dude, insurance, busy season is over. I have time now. What am I going to do with my time? Play Super Mario RPG on my alt uh, Twitch channel where I don't commentate anything and it's just gameplay. Thoughts on that? I'd watch you stream more. You should let me like join in and like interject once every 20 minutes. Well, I don't, I mean, I, there are no, vo- it is straight up game audio for the alt stream, but uh, I'm, I'm going, I am Fair streaming, every, I stream every Thursday night. And I'm going to pick another day at some point where I'm going to stream on my own. Um, but yeah, you can bother me at those times. I love you. Dude, I love you so much. Big smoochies in your direction. Holy shit. Oh, we should wrap this bitch up, though. I'm I'm definitely tuckered out. It's a Tuesday okay. night. I didn't, drink, I didn't drink my coffee before the, the stream or the podcast, so I'm a little bit off my game kind of a chiller episode you know i just wanted to get one up and go it's always been a little it's been a little bit chiller towards the end of the year i've kind of not that i don't care about quality i actually think this was a pretty good episode off the rip if i was to say so i have to do the fucking recap rewind oh no i'm gonna end my life i'm gonna end it I did the recap. Dude. What if I? What if? What? If, what if the recap is part of the, the last year's recap? Elton or this video? Week's? No. <laughs> what if the last year's <laughs> rewind is part of this year's rewind? I just what pick the mean? best clips of the rewind and then put them in this <laughs> rewind. <Yeah. laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> but um, honestly, I feel, I feel like we've been super transparent though with being like the end of the year has just been busy for both of us, and so like you know. We, we, we've been transparent with that, you know, so like, yeah. there's no like super big expectations, just two bros catching up. And I think we're pretty funny people. So hopefully it's decent content, but you yeah. know, ne- next, next time year, we hopefully we'll refocus have, on being more creative. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be like more on schedule and we'll be, and I'll be a little bit more spry than I have been tonight. I mean, I, I, get, I think I thought it was a good episode. You're pretty freaking uh, spry. I was huh? not very happy with my performance tonight, Zach, and that is okay. You know why that's okay? I think you did. Because I don't give a fuck, dude. I don't give a I shit. I don't give a freaking fuck. I'm going to rape so. you. I'm Ben the kid. <laughs> I'm oh, this horrifying. Is gonna, this is gonna I'm be a, a new, fucking monster. This is going to be a new fun bit for the next two months when you, before uh-huh. you come here. Uh-huh. Uh, but all right. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching, but uh, thank Probably you. Probably not. But. Um, much love shouts to everybody that fucker from last the last podcast isn't even watching little son of a bitch he said he wasn't gonna follow me unless i went live again which i'm not gonna do i hate him me too i don't remember what his name was i love you i don't know if you're talking to me or him all right everyone good night good night everyone peace bye <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay. I if I if I hit stop, does it stop the stream?